Oh, yeah, they are. Yeah, they're just, they're just going to kick them right out. And the thing is, these nurses, they know what they're talking about. They can go to their bosses in the hospitals and they can present documentation that, you know, I'm a healthy person, I have high vitamin D levels, I don't have respiratory problems, I'm not susceptible to swine flu infection, and, and I'm healthy, but it doesn't matter. They say take the injection or take a hike. That's what they're being told right now, Alex. Meanwhile, the military propaganda arm is saying no one has to take it. Don't listen to the conspiracy theorists. Just take the shot or you're fired, but no one's making you. All psych warfare. I want to get the bottom line from Mike Adams, the health ranger, on what he believes is really going on here. A lot of scientists are saying this is man-made. They're saying they may release something else that's mutated that's more deadly. Why do we see such a massive buildup for something that looks so incredibly mild on the surface? Stay with us. You know, Mike Adams, health ranger, joining us from Ecuador. It's not even a devil in disguise. I mean, the history of vaccines, the history of these drug makers, the history of how they're involved in eugenics. Not 50 years ago. I mean, they were, but five years ago, a year ago. How they kill us on purpose, how they do this by design, how we're in this scientific big pharma dictatorship. It's just incredible. Uh, you go over the 10 big lies of the vaccine. But before we go into that and take calls in the next segment, from your deep study of this, and I really respect your wide-ranging you know, view and research on this, what, and you're probably the biggest alternative media person when it comes to just alternative health, and, and all the experts you talk to, what is this whole flu hype really about? Well, thanks for asking me that question, by the way, because there, there is a lot of information that comes to me that, that I really don't, I don't, I can't substantiate well enough to publish, but it, it comes to me from several dis different sources, so it starts to paint a picture. For example, I had a, a physician visiting me here in Ecuador recently, and uh, this physician was telling me about the training that they had just received for how to handle people who were, were refusing the swine flu vaccination. And this is totally, uh, completely congruent with the reports we're getting from you know, certain law enforcement personnel, sheriffs uh, especially, who are saying that they're receiving either training or instruction on how to deal with uh, swine flu vaccine checkpoints and the so-called refuse nicks, people who, people who refuse the vaccine. And that's in so, the level six literature globally, and a lot of the info we were getting two, three weeks ago is now being confirmed. So this is going on. Yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely. And I've heard it firsthand from people that I know and trust. It's not just random bloggers emailing me things. These are people that I've known for many years. So something, there's an undercurrent that is definitely happening. Now, you can't, or I can't say if it's definite, if it's a, if it's a plan to make these things happen or if it's just a contingency plan in case these, this pandemic gets or out of Or if it's a drill but, to test military and police to see if they'll do it. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly. There's, there's definitely an element of that going on. I think, Alex, I think that these people are listening to your show, they're reading my website, they're watching what the physicians and the nurses and the healthcare professionals actually, oh, actually no, they, do. Oh, no, they've written about that. Fox News, others have written about this show particularly. I've seen you singled out. No, they admit they're monitoring us right now. Oh, yeah, it's, it, it's all part of the same, the same plan to make sure that they can properly manipulate the population. And that's why you, you get into that story that you mentioned before the break about the preemptive hypnosis of people to discount the swine flu vaccine side effects. But if you ask me what, I, what the underlying uh, purpose of all of this, there are two that really come to mind. And one is that vaccines are fantastic at creating future business for the pharmaceutical companies. Because if you vaccinate everybody, you're going to get down the road a certain percentage of people with liver problems with neurological problems especially, and of course, immune system problems. And this means future business for the cancer industry, future business for the transplant industry, which is steeped in all kinds of evil doing that we can't even go into. But you, you know what, you see where I'm going with this, Alex, this creates a lot of business. And it's all about money. But the second possibility here is about population control. And if you look at the chemicals that are being put into these vaccines, you know, the squalene in particular, this is a chemical that is associated with increased infertility. And what a, what a brilliant, clever, evil way to cause widespread infertility. Just get everybody to sign up for, a, for an injection. And frying, and frying, 
and frying immune systems. Absolutely. I, I think that the medical complex in this country wants to keep people immune compromised and completely ignorant of medical reality. They don't want people to know about natural cures, for example, or all the cures for cancer that exist right now all, all around the world. I've got, I've got cures for cancer growing in my front yard here in Ecuador. They're all over South America. And North Americans haven't heard of many of these. But they exist, and they're being censored and oppressed because the people in charge want to keep the American people ignorant. Well, I agree with that. It's also about reinforcing the lie that you've got to take vaccines, setting the precedent that you've got to take vaccines. Uh, it's also, as you said, a soft kill weapon. Like, look at how they've increased the vaccinations for hepatitis, then suddenly levels of hepatitis explode off the charts. Let's come back and talk about that on the other side with Mike Adams, the Health Ranger. I'm Alex Jones. Your phone calls as well at 1-800-259-9231. I realize a lot of your calls will be all over the map. We'll move to you quickly. But if you have questions on the flu or questions about medical issues, Mike Adams is a real authority. We really are honored to have him here. He's a great asset to liberty and freedom.